Lutris booth, yeah? Yes. Wow. Hi. Love love Lutris. If Proton DB fails you, there's 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 Lutris. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. Generally, it's also useful to get some info from Proton DB. But yeah. yeah. What, do you, what do you have running over here right now? What I have like uh, Outrun 2006. Okay. It's a game that has been delisted from Steam. Yeah. So now, if you want to get it and play it. You have to download it from the Internet Archive. Yes. That's your most reliable way to uh, to get it. And then you can easily install it on Lutris. I had a little bit of uh, hiccups like, to get mm -hmm. it running on this machine mm -hmm. because it was copied from an older install. Otherwise, like it runs great. What machine are we running this on right now? I have like here, I have a, a Pi, yeah? Raspberry Pi 400, which I'm trying to get some Lutris games running on. Oh. And uh, this is like running on a Ryzen PC. It's like has a RTX 3060 and yeah. can run pretty much anything. I, I, you know, that's like why th things like Lutris are important because if you do want to run like a, a non-Steam game, yeah. uh, sometimes, and want to even get the game at all, uh -huh. you're going to have to go get it from, you know, somewhere like Internet Archive or GOG and then, yes. and then do it this way and it's sad that that you know at the end of the day that this is the route that you have to go through if you do want to play your games one on Linux or yeah. sometimes at all I remember seeing like videos like a few years ago uh, about Lutris like how great it was you know, integrations with like D DXVK yeah. and even Vulkan and stuff like that well, nowadays it's like pretty much a given now we are starting to integrate with a Proton GE mm -hmm. with a Umu launcher and uh, that's like a new technology like, yeah the from, container uh, yeah from the open one components guys here it's all being like consolidated between yeah. All the different launchers, like Lutris, Eric launcher, yeah. and uh, maybe bottles, I don't, I'm not sure yet. They're all going to use like the same backend stuff, like yeah. Umu and uh, Proton G. So we're going to have like a more consistent experience. And now like all that stuff, like DXVK, VKD3D, that's pretty much like a given now. It's become like so stable and so advanced that you can even get like better performance sometimes than on Windows. Than on Windows yeah. yeah, absolutely. And I was just talking about that with with uh, with the open wine components guys and that and that's one of the big, biggest like sellers for me. If I'm building a retro like a retro games like PC, yeah. well no, I'm not going to run Windows cuz sometimes these games just run better. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean it's sometimes easier to get old yeah. Windows games running on Linux. Yeah. And also also for modern games it's like good for yeah. if you're not planning to play like uh, competitive multiplayer games yeah. like uh, Apex Legends or Fortnite, yeah. uh, Call of Duty and all of that stuff, then you're good. Yeah. Honestly not being able to play Fortnite, that's a feature. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And also uh, recently we got uh, kicked out of playing uh, League of Legends. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I heard about so that. So that's that's the same. We're in yeah. the same situation. Is it because of the kernel level anti cheat? That's the same thing. They they, they switched to the same kernel anti cheats yeah. as a uh, Valorant. Yeah. And Valorant has been like unplayable. Yeah. Since the beginning. Sorry, Riot. I don't install malware. Oh so, yeah, I mean, Riot used to be cool with Linux. Yeah. And now they're like, nope. You don't get like yeah. anything. And, and, and that's what's really cool is you guys are consolidating all this stuff, ease of use, and. Uh, yeah. Radio availability. That's why we're seeing this, you know, the market share of gamers start to, you know, go up, especially since we're losing Windows 10 support at the at the end of the year here. Yeah. It's like, what's your option? Well, it's upgrade your system or come over to Linux. You know, we saw like uh, bigger YouTubers recently, like uh, PewDiePie uh, did a video. PewDiePie, yeah, 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 he did a video where he built a gaming PC and then he's like, oh, he's running Linux Mint. The thing is, like, Linux has become like so simple, like nowadays. Like I remember, like even 10 years or 15 years ago, it was still getting it was getting easier. I mean, mm -hmm. Ubuntu was doing some great job making Linux easier to use. But I mean, it was still and it's and fancy, especially for gaming. Like you didn't have like the what we have right now with like Proton and like DXZK and all that stuff. Yeah. It was a struggle. Like a lot of games like would simply not run for the longest time. We wanted to have like. DX11 support, and we couldn't get it. I mean, we were really waiting for Wine to implement D DX11. And at the end of the day, it's Vulkan that changed everything, that uh, brought like the improvement needed. Mm. Uh, Vulkan and Valve as well. Valve, they put a lot of resources into making sure like controllers work, sound work. Everyone has jumped on the, like making sure that gaming is better now. Like you have like the team from Mesa, like KD Plasma, they implemented HDR. So now you can play HDR games on Linux. Yeah. And you know what, HDR's implementation on Linux is just better anyways. Uh, Windows implementation of HDR is horrible. I, don't, I haven't compared a uh, lot. Yeah. I've compared for one game only. Yeah. And it seemed to be the same. Like I've tried it with Horizon Zero Dawn and it looks pretty much the same between um, Windows and Linux, so I'm like, 
Okay, this is good enough, I, I guess. I really appreciate you talking. Anything you want to say to anybody? So yeah, I mean, I've been working on uh, this project called Playtron, okay. which is like my day job, yeah. basically. And we're making uh, an OS based on the Fedora Silver Blue that is targeting game consoles. So it's basically a continuation of uh, what I've been doing with Lutris, mm. but at least it offers like it allows me to uh, pay my rent, to pay uh, yeah. for my food, and there's like a lot, bunch of other people that are invested in Linux gaming that are also working on this project, and it's making progress really fast. And like yeah, this is like a really a uh, great opportunity to compete with like stuff like PS5 Pro yeah. and stuff like that. Or I mean. Currently, we're targeting mostly handhelds, so you have like those Rogalize and Legion Go yeah. that are shipping with Windows, and Windows is, is not a great experience for that. Not at all. So you can replace it with like Playtron OS, and that will give you access to uh, Steam games, GOG games, and Epic games. Mm. And we're going to bring more and more like supports. It doesn't have yet the support, the, the wide array of supports uh, Lutris has, but I, hopefully it will come down. Matthew? Yes. Matthew, I really appreciate you talking to me. It's been great. Do you do you have any any social media or anything you can, people can I'm find? a Mastodon mostly, yes. Oh, Mastodon? Yeah, okay. you can find it it's easy. It's uh, at, uh, on Mastodon. Okay. Yeah, you just search for Lutris and it will be there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.